already went through and decluttered all of my clothing. Now it's time to declutter my accessories and I'm going to need your help probably in the comments because I feel like I'm not the most stylish person and especially when it comes to shoes and accessories, those things seem to change very quickly when it comes to styles. So I have a ton of shoes. We're going to see how many I can get rid of especially right now on my own. But again, I'm hoping you guys could let me know in the comments like if I'm comparing two shoes, which to keep, which to get rid of, as well as purses. We're going to go through some jewelry and I think that's about it. I have, you can't see it right now, but I have one hat at the very top of my closet. That's it. I do have a couple like scarves and pashminas, so we'll go through those. Um, but I think we should start with all of these shoes. So I have them organized in color order here from dark at the bottom. There's some colored ones at the top and like neutrals in the middle. So I think let's start a pie with the neutrals and colorful ones. So way up top, I have these like really comfortable snakeskin and tan sandals. They're Kohan and they're so comfortable. I have a couple of like maroon heels here and both of these I do wear and like. These purple ones are really fun, really comfortable. I don't have a ton of opportunity to wear colorful ones so those might be something I potentially want to get rid of but for now I'm thinking keep them. These ones I wore to every wedding I went to last summer. So for sure keeping these. They're the same brand as the purple ones. And then, okay, first place I need your help. These, especially Tory Burch logos, just logos seem like they're not in style anymore. And shoes that have big logos, purses that have big logos. I'm wondering if they're out of style. I have gotten rid of a lot of them, but these sandals I still really like. So let me know if you think they're still cute or not. I kind of think they're still cute and they are comfortable, which is something I'm really paying attention to with my heels in particular and all shoes. If they are not comfortable, I'm done with them. We are moving past wearing shoes that are uncomfortable because that is just not something I'm interested in anymore. The, these are extremely comfortable. I don't really care how in style they are. I think they're fun. They're very comfortable. Okay. These. I think it's time to get rid of. I've been seeing a lot of stuff on rounded toes versus pointy toes and it sounds like rounded toes are not in and like these specific boots I think they use these I think these are the Vince Camuto ones maybe no these are rag and bone but I saw something on Instagram that was like if you have these boots they are out of style get rid of them so I'm thinking get rid of these just because they're not in style and they're not overly comfortable they were cute when they were in style, but I guess they're not anymore. So I'm gonna potentially get rid of these, put those on the ground. Okay, these are kind of fun. I'm not sure if these are still in style with like the open toe. It is a little bit confusing. Like, do you wear these in the winter? Do you wear them in the fall? Can't be too warm out or too cold. I don't know, maybe these are, maybe these are weird. I'm gonna put these in a maybe pile. Okay, I wear these all the time. They're Eileen Fisher. Then I like to have a couple pairs of basic nude pumps, actual, actual basic nude pumps. And then these ones are kind of fun. They have like a little cutout. They're a little bit more intricate. Then the next row down, I'm going to keep all of these. These are pretty scuffed up. So maybe at some point I would like replace them because I think these are still shoes that I like to wear in the summer again to weddings and things like that. And then I have a couple pairs of these boots with like really thick soles. Yes, these are similar, uh, but these ones I treat almost more like sneakery and these ones I treat more like boots. These again are also similar to the other ones, but they are kind of an army green color. We're back to logos. I think these are out of style, like the rounded ballet flats, especially the Tory Burch ballet flats. Sounds like ballet flats are back in. The pointed toe is in right now though. And my thoughts on this is if you want to hold on to something because a style is going to come back around, like the rounded toe might come back around. 
if a style comes back, it's unlikely to come back in the same way that it was the first time. So like these Tory Burch ballet flats that were such a huge rage probably won't be if the rounded toe ballet flat comes back. So I'm going to put this also in my maybe pile. These are actually pretty nice. I like these. Two different pairs of these boots. I need to get rid of one or the other. I think I want to get rid of these. But yeah, I'm going to get rid of these. These seem like not my thing anymore. They're like really low profile. I don't know. Now we're on to the black shoes. I'm going to pull these out first because they're similar to the other sandals that I had in the tan color. Very, very comfortable. These ones are Kohan as well. Black here. Same as the ones that I said I wore to every wedding in the summer last year. I have some flat sandals. Most of my actual flat, flat sandals I keep on the other side of my closet, which I'll show in a second. These I love. These have little like pom pom -y things and they're kind of like a slide on sneaker. These are so fun. I get lots of compliments on them. A basic black closed pump. This is the only black closed pump I have. And then the only thing is I'll say maybe like these shoes are kind of similar, but I do still like both of them. And frankly, part of this is like, I have the space <laughs> to have all of these shoes. So having two duplicates in the similar type of shoe in the same color, if I like both of them, they're comfortable and I wear both of them, that's kind of what I'm going off of here. And that's what I'm going to keep. Now, in terms of black flats, I have three flats. They all do have like the rounded toe. These two are more like loafery and this one's more of a ballet flat. I used to wear these to work all the time. They're so beat up, but I don't go to work anymore. I don't think I need three pairs of shoes that are this similar. I kind of like the loafer style better. So I'm thinking of getting rid of these little half patent leather, half leather Tory Burch ones, but I don't know. I need to play around with that. I 100% am going to get rid of one of them though. So I'm going to put one of them in that pile for now. And then at the way bottom, more of these like, I want to say like lug boots in plain black, most used boot of the winter, 100%. And then if I want to go a little more upscale, I have these ones, which I also wear platform, they're Velcro, <laughs> um, gray sandals. They're actually really expensive, but I think these are still fun. I like them and they are shockingly very comfortable. So we have a pile of one, two, three, for at least five shoes that are get rid of or maybe get rid of. Let's pop over to the sandals. Sandals I keep all down here in these letter sorters and they are a disaster right now. So I'm going to pull them all out of the floor and then I think we'll go through them maybe one by one and put them back as I decide to keep them. Okay, I've tried to put these shoes in categories a little bit by color. I still do wear a lot of these. So I was talking a lot about logos and how I wanted to get rid of some. The Tory Burch logo sandals, I honestly don't care if they're still in style or not. I wear these a lot. So I'm probably going to keep these. Other black sandals, I have these like braided ones, which I think are pretty. They're less comfortable, but I think they're a little bit more upscale. I don't know. These ones I'm going to put in the maybe pile. Less comfortable. And I think the other sandals accomplish the same thing. I have them in a nude color as well, which I think I wear more just because they're the only true nude that I have. I have a white pair and then I have these quilted ones, which I don't think are as cute, but are very comfortable. Oh, I guess I also have these black ones. So maybe these ones go in the maybe get rid of pile as well. Then I have some gold sandals. These ones are really, were really nice. <laughs> I've worn the absolute heck out of them. They're Stuart Weitzman, so they were not cheap. They're absolutely falling apart. I'm sad because I like these. Okay, I'm either going to like try and spruce these up, glue them back together a little bit, or just part with them. So if I'm getting rid of my only gold pair of sandals, then I might keep these ones just so I have one pair of gold. Brown sandals, I just got these. If you've noticed, the rest of my sandals all go between my toes so far. So I think these will be nice to have for this spring and summer. And then a couple of brown ones that I wear pretty often. 
Okay, and then we have like very, very casual sandals. My mom actually just bought all of these for me. So I didn't purchase these, she just sent them to me. These Javianas, I have had for a very long time. They're black and just have a little rhinestone on them. They're my only pair of like pool sandals, really, really casual, like flexible, flip floppy sandals. And I have worn these a lot. I like keeping them downstairs just if I like, run outside quickly, go grab the mail, something like that. I need to slide on shoes. She knows I like those. So she got me two more pairs of them in a navy color and a periwinkle. I'm guessing the periwinkle will be the least worn. And then they also had Javianas that are like a slide on, which are supposed to look a little more upscale in a silver gunmetal color and then I don't know kind of a, a little bit of a gold chrome more neutral color so I'm gonna try these on walk around with them but probably not gonna get rid of them right now just because they're brand new so I think the only shoes that I have in the maybe pile slash get rid of three pairs of flip-flops that seems like something I know I kept a lot I am going to put these away but I also want to chat through purses and then I have a couple of pairs of shoes at the top Shoes at the top, I kind of have to go on my tippy toes here so you can see me and the shoes. But I have all of my slide on sneakers and then extra sneakers. I know that's bad, but I have two pairs of like tennis shoes that haven't really been worn. I like using these as house shoes. I've worn them when I'm pregnant and my back hurts, and my feet hurt. So they have not gone outside yet, but I have worn them. And then I do have a backup pair of running shoes Running shoes do break down relatively quickly. So those are gonna be my shoes once my old pair of running shoes are broken down. And then these I love, they are Cole Haan little white sneakers. And then three pairs of slide on sneakers, which I also do wear quite a bit. Let's go through the rest of these purses. I have my flat clutches, my larger purses, and then big tote bags here. I am for sure gonna get rid of this one. I have had it for who knows how long. I got it as a gift and I have, I'm gonna be honest, maybe used it once. So that I'm going to get rid of. Maybe same with this one. I don't know, my grandma got this one for me. And I think it's kind of fun. I just, again, I like, I just don't think I've ever, ever used it. So maybe pile for that one as well. This black envelope purse Jim got for me when we were dating and I've used it a ton, absolutely love it. And then I have this like little letter folio. I use this when I travel, I put my passport in it and stuff. So I'm gonna keep that. I have this structured pink bag. I love this, I think it's so pretty and classy. Um, the brown one I wear all the time. This black one is like a matte black quilted, which I really like. The questions are snakeskin. Is this out? And I don't know, this one just does not get as much use and I don't like it as much. So these are the two maybe ones. And then big tote bags. I've brought this one on peach vacations with me. Um, what else? This brown one I used to bring to work with me every day. I still think it's really nice. Oh, and I have one, these are getting so squished up. I wonder if this would fit up here. That would probably do better here. And then a little bit of a slouchy bag here that I think I'm also going to keep. Jim has also been clearing out some of his closet. So I think with some of his cleared out space, I can make a little bit more room for my purses and display them better. So they're not all crunched up because I do think this is kind of damaging my purses, how tightly and compactly I have them in here. Right above my shoes, I have, actually I have some sunglass cases that I need to go through as well. But I have all of my little crossbody handbag type things. One more thing of sunglasses. These are all empty. I don't have any sunglasses stored up here. They're all stored in the mudroom now. So I can go through those, but I like most of these. This is really fun. It's a fun neutral color that's not a black or a brown, which is pretty much everything else I have, black or brown or gold. I have this clear bag for sporting events. I'm gonna check with some of the sporting event rules, but I am gonna get rid of it. There's no point. 
I can put a phone in my pocket if I need more than a phone. This doesn't hold much more than a phone. And at this point I have kids and just like frankly need more than that. But again, I'm gonna look up the stadium rules. I just don't think any stadium has to be that small anymore, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, I'm just picking the bags that I know I love the most. So that Frilla one, this one I still wear a lot. I know it has like a big bulky logo on it. I might keep all of these. So I have three black crossbodies, one brown one, one gold one, and one kind of taupe colored one, I guess. I have some hanging necklaces here. Honestly, not a ton. And the things that I have here, I have pared down quite a bit and have gotten rid of the things that I don't like for the most part. So some of it, most of it's like costume jewelry, but some of it is actual nice jewelry. And that definitely has a factor on what I'm keeping and what I'm not. I think some of this like costume jewelry that's meant to look like diamonds but looks a little bit cheapy in my opinion i am going to get rid of a couple of them i got with a set of earrings and i think it was the earrings that i got for my wedding it just like doesn't look real to me so i think i'm gonna get rid of it i don't wear necklaces that often like this one i don't know if you can see it looks like it would be a engagement ring size diamond if it were real which it's not so i'm going to get rid of this but i think the rest of them i'm going to keep for this portion we have a little special guest who woke up from his nap but i grabbed all of my jewelry trays here i have one large one and then two smaller ones for earrings the two smaller ones for earrings i have one gold and one silver and then this large one is just kind of mixed so going through the larger one first i have a couple pairs of hoop earrings which I really enjoy. I have a few bracelets and I think I'm gonna change the angle of the camera so you can see what I'm talking about rather than necessarily looking at me. <laughs> okay, so like I said for this larger one, I do enjoy a lot of these bracelets. Definitely like these ones. Just wanna make sure some of these aren't getting discolored. But I do wear them. I wear these a lot. And then these bracelets are really fun. They are, I think they're called Little Words is the brand maybe? Yeah, Little Words Project. And I have ones that say Boy Mom and Grateful. And then just some plain ones to mix and match. This is a custom piece, I guess, somebody made for me. This one I'm going to get rid of. Um, I think this is like meant to be half a hair tie, half a bracelet. I don't know. I might try wearing this one see if I like it. It might be too tangled to wear. So maybe this is a, I don't know. We'll see. I think I'm going to keep most of these and I have a couple of rings as well. I don't know. And then I've held on to these pins from when I was in Alpha Phi. I was in a sorority when I graduated college, when I became a Colorado attorney, this is a Supreme Court pin and then an Apple watch band. <laughs> okay. Then I kind of just on my own quickly went through my earrings. I I think I'm going to get rid of a little rose gold hoop pair. I've gone through this a lot. It used to be stuffed and now there are multiple, multiple sections that are empty. So I think I'm gonna get rid of those. I also have these like gun metal hoops. I've just gotten rid of so many pairs of earrings that I think I've done a pretty good job. Thoughts on costumey jewelry. I really don't have that much anymore. I used to wear these flower earrings all the time. They're like little uh, ivory flowers with a clear gemstone in the middle and they're gold. I used to wear them all the time. I had backup pairs of them. I wore them that often. I don't know. I think they're kind of fun still. So I'm holding on to them. The rest I truly do not have that, that many pairs. So I can't get rid of a lot. I just grabbed three pieces of jewelry here. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this chatty style as you kind of got in my brain a little bit and I worked through things. As I was going through it, I really felt as if I kept saying, I'm just gonna keep this, I'm gonna keep this, I really like this, I'm gonna keep it. But this pile of stuff to get rid of is bigger than I thought it was gonna be. And I know some of it, there's still maybes and I am going to go through this. There are quite a few that are 100% things I am going to part with. But the maybes, if you were watching this and I was debating on something or doubting it, please leave comments below. Let me know your thoughts. I'm totally open to what you think is trendy, what I should get rid of, if being on trend matters or not. 
Um, I typically don't care a ton about that stuff, but I do like to look good and put together and all of that. So I'm going to go through this, decide what I want to try and sell first, because a lot of these are, of course, really nice brands. And then I can try and make a little bit of money before moving on to different donation routes, which again, these would be great options to donate to great causes. Some of them a little bit nicer shoes that could go to somebody who would really, really enjoy them and appreciate them and some of the purses as well. So I hope you enjoyed today's video, but until next time, I will see you all later.